there's a lot of ways we could go with this next segment here. We can talk about uh, making some improvements to your yard for the new year, or we could talk about uh, following your passion in a new career. Uh, Dave Henderson from Henderson Sculptural Arts can address both of those questions this morning. And uh, it's good to see you here on San Diego. Good How are you? Happy and, New and Year. A fellow Alpino. <laughs> yes, indeed. We're yes, neighbors indeed. up there in Alpine. Love it. Love well, it. Let, let's, let's talk about the career first off. You were a dental technician, mm -hmm. and uh, you had a little hobby, what, making sandcastles at the time? Exactly, yep, just going to the beach. I saw some people building a castle and introduced myself. Before I knew it, I was part of a team that won the world championships in 87 and was flying around the country doing sand sculptures and eventually got to go to Japan as well. So it, it, your hobby turned into this huge passion, so mm -hmm. you in turn turn it into a career. Yeah. Did it start with this instructional video on how to make sand castles? Is that where you turned pro? Well, that's right about the time, in 1989, yeah, exactly. That's when I started taking this more seriously. But I wanted to share this art with folks and let others become involved and down La Jolla Shores beaches here in San Diego. I just had a lot of fun doing it. And it was great to be a part of the, something that's so creative and it brings the, the kid out in people. So according to our research, you did the first instructional video on how to do sandcastles. As far as I know. Exactly. <laughs> Until somebody else comes <laughs> along and disputes us, that's, exactly. that's what we're going with. Mm -hmm. Well then now, flash forward now to uh, 2010, almost 2011 here, mm. and you're going into people's homes, now into their yards, and, and sharing another passion that you have for creating these natural landscapes in their yard but with artificial materials. This is a really fascinating. We've got some pictures to show folks here too. Mm -hmm. Describe what you do. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, going from uh, sand to the concrete, which is what we build these things with, wasn't too big of a stretch. Um, my son showed up uh, unexpectedly and I discovered that being on the road so much wasn't a good thing. <laughs> right. So I had to find another career and so it was natural to go into something with my hands and concrete work was a great way to go. You can beautify people's property, you can add value to their to their real estate as it were, and you can create an environment where you can enjoy yourself and have a, an experience right in your own backyard that is like being in the Bahamas almost. Now, what, what we'll share with people, if they haven't gleaned this from the pictures already, all the boulders and rocks you see in these pictures, they're all manufactured. And yeah. that's what Dave does with mm -hmm. uh, Henderson Sculptural Arts. Mm -hmm. That's just amazing. And you can do anything from, you know, little small boulders around a pool. Yeah to these giant bunkers. Now, I want to talk about this because this is really fascinating for us out in, in Alpine, out in the East County, where firestorms are always a risk. Mm -hmm. These things are fireproof? Fireproof, windproof, waterproof, and people don't even really know they're there. It's someone's property. There's a lot of boulders in San Diego that you get folks that live here know. And uh, the firestorms in 07 showed me that uh, there's a real danger here when the fires come storming through. So I decided to come up with an idea, and this was what was produced. So if you take a, a shot of this here, Zach, uh, there you go right there. Okay, you see the boulder right here? It's not a boulder. It's a shelter. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely amazing. And I mean, I'm telling you what, I got up as close as I could to that picture. And you know, I grew up out in Alpine. I climbed all over these things as a kid, still do. I can't tell that from the real thing. That is amazing. And that, exactly, that gets back to the work that you see in San Diego that's at people's houses. And the fake rock stuff, people know it's fake rock and that's because it wasn't done properly. You need to make it look like God made it. And that's always been my goal, to make it look like God made it, whether it's a water feature, a boulder bunker where you can secure your valuables, or anything of that nature. It's gotta look natural, it's gotta fit the environment properly, and it's gotta be, be in balance with the rest of the environment. So now, which thing that Dave has talked about now are you most interested in contacting him about? <laughs> Sand castles, or uh, maybe improving your environment, or one of these boulder bunkers? I, I do wanna talk about the water features, though. Uh, you know, water being such short supply, here in San Diego to take a little bit of water the way you do and to weave it into the landscape of the yard. Mm. I think there's something kind of psychologically very soothing about that. Yeah, it's, it's like folks have been talking a lot about lately is staycations. Instead mm -hmm. of going on a vacation, you stay in your own home and in your own environment. And the sound of water, the soothing, healing properties of just listening to that. I was in the hospital with some medical issues and I was having to stay overnight and they had a machine that made the sounds of water. So added to my healing, it made me feel more safe and comfortable. And so it's something that we need to have in our lives. You know, the Japanese have got that in their gardens. Water is a crucial part of that whole culture. And 
I think it does have dramatic healing properties for all of us. And, and the, of course, the way that we can do it here is very environmentally responsible. It, does, it doesn't take a bunch of water that just uh, gets flushed away and, and uh, you know, goes down to the ground. It all gets recycled and so forth throughout the water feature, and it's a very efficient use very efficient. of the water. And you can tie it into a rainwater recovery system so that your rainwater that's coming out of your gutters in the roof goes into a reservoir, especially in East County. We need that because there's a shortage of water a lot of times, and that can be recycled. So you're actually conserving water, gathering it up from the skies, and then you can save on your water bill. You're not having to pull it out of the pipe. So. All right, folks, whether you want to beautify your yard or perhaps uh, guarantee uh, that some of your valuables will survive a firestorm with one of these boulder bunkers, uh, Dave is the guy to call. Dave Henderson at uh, Henderson Sculptural Arts Incorporated. Uh, I looked at hendersonarts.net on the web just this morning and looked at it. Boy, that's a great website with uh, just a ton of really cool stuff on there. I went a little crazy. I built that myself a couple years ago. And <laughs> I just love pictures. And if you're an artist, you love to do that kind yeah, of thing. Absolutely true. And you got a little special here uh, through the end of the year for folks? That's right. 20% off. If you have fake rock in your property and it's not looking quite right, it needs a tune-up, 20% off. And as well as if you hire me to do a sandcastle event for your kids, you're having a party or you're having a corporate event, that's another thing I do, and we're taking and taking 20% off that kind of stuff that, this time, too. Very good. All right, Dave, it, what a pleasure to meet you. I'll see you up in Alpine. All right, good to go. <laughs> All right. Hey, in the meantime, uh, let's get out to Ruben. He's out at the Big Bay Balloon Parade, where, man, I'm telling you what, Renee could not have dialed up any better weather for a parade this morning. Let me tell you. I